When Max makes a preposterous promise to a girl he has a crush on, his chances to fulfilling it seem hopeless when he is dragged onto a cross-country trip with his embarrassing father. Goofy. Hi, I'm Andre. I'm Michelle. I'm Emily. And I'm Luis. And we are The Walt Vault, a family-friendly podcast where we get silly and talk about Disney movies. Welcome to The Walt Vault, episode 17. Today we're celebrating my birthday. It's Andre's birthday today. Happy birthday, babe. Uh, at the time of recording, it is my 27th birthday. So thank you. Thank you thank and you we much. will be taking him to a Powerline concert. Dun, 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 I'll have you know he's been singing it in the shower all week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I haven't said what movie we're discussing. Um, <laughs> yeah, you did. You said what? Oh, I did didn't. not. I, we're we're, we're, t- we're talking about Andre's birthday. No, we're <laughs> we discussing. with his birthday versus the movie. <laughs> That's the importance. We're discussing 1995's A Goofy Movie. I'm going to say it on my butt. <laughs> 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 I love that song. I, yes, and you that, know what I said when the person saying that you know, the line. Bus driver. The poor yeah. bus drivers are getting a bad rap. Okay, bus drivers do <laughs> other things than just then sit on their butts. Sit on their butts. Yeah, they drive. That's just bus. sad. Yeah, but while they're sitting on their. <laughs> that song is my favorite one. <laughs> okay, what are your first impressions, Andre? Um, this movie's great. Why did you pick this movie? Uh, I I don't know. I just have like a lot of nostalgia for this movie. I suppose it came out in 1995. I was four years old. I don't know if I saw it when I was four years old, but I know that I I watched it a ton. And I know that because while we were watching it this time, I was quoting a lot of it and singing a lot of the songs more than I knew that I remembered even. I agree. I definitely watched this movie so much growing up and the extremely goofy movie both. Yeah. They're classic 90s cartoon movies. Yes. Love it. Good Disney fare. Well, it's super funny because I I agree. I, I remember watching this movie as a kid. Um, but I don't think I saw it a whole bunch, but it was so funny because I, now I don't even remember what his name was, but Leaning Tower of Cheese, man. What's his name? Oh, what is his name? I wrote it down. I'm uh, glad nobody knows, so I don't feel like <laughs> such a dweeb. But um, him. He's the Star Trek kid. You mean Pauly Shore? Yeah, Pauly Shore. Okay, so Pauly Shore, <laughs> the actor, yeah. goes, um, L- Maze. Er, right? Uh, like, uh, to the To the principal. Yeah. And it's weird because... He's like trying to be all like buddy buddy with the principal when he knows he's going to get in trouble. But for some reason, I literally said it at the same time as he said it in the movie. And I didn't even know what was going on in the movie. I was just like, <laughs> hey, May Zetter. Yo, Stacy, talk to me, talk to me, talk to oh me, baby. Oh, my God. The Star Trek kid. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, Luis was like, all of a sudden, these dweebs be getting it on. I'm like, not going to lie. I almost did. I thought about it as we watched the movie. I was like. I'm going to buy some cheese Whiz and crackers and bring it Ugh. for always snacking. It's nasty. Gross. It's not nasty, you guys. Cheese Whiz is great. Cheese Disgusting. Whiz is only good if you put Ugh. that on stuff. Yeah, on not, crackers. Not on crackers. On Cheetos, <laughs> maybe. No. I don't want to put it on anything. Get away Cheese Whiz me. on a Cheeto. Hot Cheetos. Eh. I wish y'all could see Emily's my face. Emily's face oh. <laughs> is a pure <laughs> disgust right Hold now. Hold on. Cheese Whiz oh. is Anyways. perfect on a Philly cheesesteak. From shout out what? to Jim Steaks in Philadelphia because I remember when I was in Philly a handful of years ago, they put cheese whiz on their Philly cheese steaks. That's disgusting. That's amazing. Would we you went ruin a perfectly we went, good sandwich. We went for <laughs> breakfast, <laughs> lunch, and dinner. <laughs> and these, we had the same thing all three times. So these cheese whiz steaks? Trust me, man. I know it sounds weird, but it's damn good. Gross. Anyways, so yeah, no cheese whiz. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say my first impression of this movie is why isn't the music more like mainstream popular Disney? Why wasn't it on a soundtrack? Yeah, like why Abraham? wasn't like when I listen to Pandora Disney Station, why doesn't Power on the open on road there. come on or so, oh, anything? That was my least favorite. <laughs> that one did not come on. That's hilarious. Uh, my favorite. Open. I mean, obviously, we love the Powerline songs, mm-hmm. but. 
I really like the opening. Oh, the um, opening song. one's hilarious. For some reason, that whole opening scene reminds me of the opening scene of Hairspray. Oh, see, it reminds me of the opening scene of Grease. Well, I guess not the opening it, scene. It Maybe reminds musicals me all start the same. Little Shop know. of Horrors. Okay, musicals yes. start the same, guys. Mm-hmm. I don't well, know. and that's the thing is it very much is like introduce you to the characters and the town. You know, <laughs> this is the stuff that I want. <laughs> Well, we even did it in the yeah. <laughs> after today. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm on the side of my butt. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sounds good. What are me. your first impressions of this movie, Luis? All right. So <laughs> I love this movie. Yeah. I'm, ju- I'm right there with you, uh, Triple D, <laughs> Andre. We didn't. Because he is a... Disney doggy dad. I'm a Disney doggy dad. We discussed that uh, yes. off mic, but uh, he's not Goofy. Who I'm is a, a dog I'm a and triple a dad? D. No, no, no. So Goofy's a Disney oh, yeah. doggy dad. <gasps> well, technically speaking, Goofy's a is. Goofy's a doggy Disney doggy dad. <laughs> yes, he is a doggy Disney he's doggy a, dad. He's a quadruple, <laughs> d, a quadruple D. You guys, he's a, a, a level I can Goofy's never reach. Goofy's a Disney dad. Yeah. He's a doggy Disney doggy dad widow. <laughs> oh. oh. That is that? Do we do we know that for a fact? Is his wife no longer with us? I don't know. Is oh. Max's mother out there somewhere? This In the ground? Beneath it the was pale never moonlight? said. <laughs> well, I mean, up until this movie, I didn't even know Max existed. Well, so. before this movie came out, uh, there was the show Goof Troop that had yes. uh, Goofy and his son Max. And well, you're right. They lived next door to Pete and uh, PJ. Peach. And, and also, PJ had like a mom and a, and a little sister, I think, as well. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, and that's what this you movie didn't know who was Max based was? off of. And I read up on Goofy and Max, and I think Max has shown up in other stuff before, but he was just like Goofy Jr. He wasn't when named Max. Oh. No, I knew of Max. I just didn't know Max was in the picture until that movie. Right. Gotcha. Until the show. When and I was a kid, Max used to be at the parks a lot. I have multiple pictures with him. Hmm. Well, that's probably because it was very recent to that movie being released. Yeah, probably. I've never right. seen him in the parks. Never. I've seen him quite a bit. And if you... I used to see him at Goofy's Kitchen, if you've ever been there. Mm-hmm. Makes sense that he would be there. And on Main Street, and we had, kind of had a joke going. My older sister, we would always, she would always want to take a picture with him. So for some reason, we would always be like, you have a crush on Max. I don't know why <laughs> it was a thing, but it was a Your thing. family has a thing with animals. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Just a little thing. They don't look like dogs anyways. Yeah. What, do they I look mean, like humans? I never would have <laughs> pictured him being a dog. Let's be real. I don't know what the heck he would have been, though. He hasn't. He hasn't. And Pete is a cat. Right. What? Pete is a cat. Pete is definitely Pete is a, cat. a cat. Pete and PJ are both Let's cats. not talk about By the way, PJ <laughs> stands for Pete Jr. Here. Yeah. Yes. Peach. Yeah. Yeah, Peach. Peach. Which sounds like Pudge. The Peach. That like Pudgy. That's a total 90s thing to like say names like that. Peach. Peach. <laughs> Well, what is what is Leaning Tower of Cheese the guy supposed to be? Because don't tell me he's a dog. I he's believe a dog. he's a dog. His no, he's no. like oh, oh, Francine is supposed to be like some kind of dog too, but she looked like a chipmunk. She's Who, Roxanne? Dog. Roxanne. <laughs> Francine. <laughs> Francine. <laughs> Francine. It's not even a little bit close. Francine's her friend, who's I also a dog. Stacey. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, Stacy's then. the friend. Who's Francine? <laughs> Who's Francine then? <laughs> what movie did we watch? <laughs> Who is Francine? Starring <laughs> the character that plays Francine. I don't know. No, starring Luis. I don't He's know the private all. detective. Um, Polly Shore's Ellie character. Style. Polly Shore plays Bobby Zimaruski. There you go, Zimaruski. Zimaruski. Bobby. Leaning Tower of Cheese. Oh May I like the part the where he's like, they're watching the concert, and then Bobby's like, the goof boy isn't even on stage. Like, <laughs> dude, are you not his friend? Why are you referring to him as the, the goof, goof boy? boy? I kind of, I don't know if they were necessarily friends before this because, like, they paid him in cheese and, like, I they, think he was just the like, AV guy. Yeah, they seemed like he was just a hired hand. Yeah, that uh, was really cool. He was just the AV guy who wanted to get paid in cheese whiz, he was, like normal AV. He was people. super chill, so he was just always <laughs> like around. normal AV people. <laughs> That's typical. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that is stereotyping. Yeah, how dare Michelle. you? Lots of people like cheese. Okay. Anders Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. No, no. You know, a lot of people Gross. don't like cheese. Like Andre, whose birthday it is, has an aversion to cheese. Everyone, no cheese on my birthday. You're wrong. You know what's really well, funny? Well, don't kiss Michelle because she had <laughs> cheese on her pizza. Bro. Do you know what's really funny? We were watching a movie before this, before you got here, mm-hmm. and they were walking through like a market scene, and this movie's like in the 40s or something, and they literally uh, had... It's actually in the 1920s. 
Okay, nobody cares. Anywho, <laughs> <laughs> obviously, I don't care enough about this movie. But the point is, she is there? Likes it. Shut up. They're going, we're going through this like um, market. Gusta. A market. And there's there's all this stuff, you know, celery, lettuce, all this stuff. Baguette. And there's this hu- baguette, huge wheel of cheese. And I'm like, I'm going to get that for Andre for his birthday. No. And Luis <laughs> literally goes, you are evil. And I said, I oh, know. No, be, this, this wheel of cheese you. is it was big huge. enough that, you know, you throw it at somebody's head, somebody getting a concussion. <laughs> no, they did. Oh, my God. Oh, they did. They did with cheese. Cheese killed people. So the eating a, tower of cheese, the Ban all cheese. I have a guessing game for Luis. <laughs> oh, okay. The voice of Max. 48. No. <laughs> the voice of Max was Michael also the voice <laughs> of a character of a movie we have already watched. Michael J. Fox. That what? is not a that's character. Not, that's not a, a person. Character. Nope. The voice of Max. Max. He's voiced by James Marsden. Mm-hmm. Jason Marsden. Jason Marsden. Oh, Lord. <laughs> you, wrote, you wrote James Marsden. James Marsden, I believe, plays uh, Cyclops in the X-Men movies. Oh, well, you Oopsie made a typo. Days. He's also in Enchanted, Jason a Disney movie. Jason Marsden ha. is the voice of Max, and he was also the voice of a character in a movie we have already watched. What do you think it is? Can you, least, can you at least guess that character? The the well, fir- you're not giving me... Uh, uh, we watched 17 movies. It was in the first three movies that we watched. He was in one of the first three that movies we so watched. That was so long ago. Just first? tell me the name of the he movie. He was in the first movie we watched. The- Hocus, Hocus Pocus. Pocus. Oh, he's the boy. He's... Which boy? <laughs> he Double is boys. the cat. That's yep. right. Thackeray Binks. Thackeray Binks. Max is Thackeray Binks. No, Thackeray. Thackeray? I said Thackeray. No, you said Daiquiri. <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> Strawberry. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so they're the same voice. Thackeray. Which, after Andre told me that when I was watching the movie, all I could see was like the little black cat in my mind. Hey, that was a cool was like, black ah. cat. Well, you know what's funny he's about that a is cat that and a dog. <laughs> Apparently, he <laughs> plays Kovu in The Lion Guard, so he's been a lion too. He's just all up in those four legged. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Oh, okay, well, well, I mean, he would be old enough to be a dad. So. Yeah. Well, it's funny because I was uh, when we were watching the movie, I was thinking about Max's voice, and he actually reminded me of uh, Mario Contreras, one of the. Um, original podcasters. Oh. Um, he sounded like Mario and he would like talk and say stuff. Um, not when he was being super like eh, dead, but when he was just talking about Roxanne or yeah. something. Normal talking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh my gosh, it sounds like Mario. And Louise is like, who's Mario? I'm like the podcasters. She's like, you listen to them too much. If you know what his voice sounds like, I'm like, I know. Yeah. What do you say? Shout out I to podcasters. That. <laughs> Shout out to the podcasters. Yeah. If you guys um, <laughs> haven't given the podcasters a listen, they're, they're another Disney podcast. Go yes. check them out. They talk, about they like talk more Disney <laughs> than we talk movie. Yeah, we yeah. talk movie Disney. They talk like Disney Park Disney. Yeah, and Disney and other food Disney. And anything Disney. And really Disney. anything that Besides we're not movies. talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Things we're not talking about. Yeah. So another fun fact about Max, or Max the actor Max. who played Max, he didn't do the singing parts, which is pretty common that mm-hmm. they have somebody else fill in the singing parts. But he can sing really, really good. So at D23 in 2015... It was the 20th anniversary of the film, so they had a panel there, and him and Goofy... Bill Farmer. They sang the On the Open Road song together, just like impromptu, and everybody loved it. And we watched the video, and now I really need to go to D23 so that I can see the voice of Goofy, because that's legit. (laughs) I don't know if that would like ruin the illusion for me, though, because his voice is... You know, like when you hear something so iconic, and Mm -hmm. then you see the voice behind it, and you're like, ooh. It was very weird when I... Was watching because they it. were playing the video, uh, like on the screen in the background, and mm-hmm. then you know he was just like in front of a podium singing. Yeah, but uh, it didn't take me out of it. But it, it, it's cool to watch him do it. Oh, I'm sure. It's like, like does he have know. to get into character to do the voice? Um, he does have to like pull on his throat thingy, yeah. like when he's like on the open roll. His he, like, throat thingy, you know, is like jugular. <laughs> you mean the Adam's <laughs> apple? Adam's yeah. Apple. <laughs> so that was kind of weird seeing him do that. But if you think about Goofy's voice, it's very like. Whoa, 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 whoa. So yes, makes yeah, sense. it's almost <laughs> like that saying you don't want to meet your heroes. You know what I mean? They might let you down. <laughs> yeah, they might let you down. Goofy wouldn't let Roger Goofy Rabbit down. Goofy let me down. <laughs> well, not that they let you down. It's just like he doesn't meet your expectations. Yeah, yeah. like oh, you're the one who voices. <laughs> you're Goofy. Goofy. Yeah. Although his name is Bill Farmer, and I, I kind of never realized until watching this movie this time that Goofy is just like a Southern dude. He's he like has, seems to have a bit of an he's, accent. He's kind of like a hillbilly. He digs the southern stuff, <laughs> like all oh, the yeah. stuff they were doing oh, on yeah. the oh, yeah. on the 
road trip was definitely like, yeah. oh, let's talk Relax. about Be-ish. the Possum Park. Oh. Uh, Hold on, are we are we at that point yet? Well, she I just mean, said hillbilly things. We haven't been uh, discussing the plot that much, a but the, yeah. Possum well, Park. Well, first off, I, I just want to point out from the very beginning, Max is not a. I have my qualms with Max early <laughs> on, so I'll I mean, leave it at that. <laughs> I feel like maybe. Luis is trying to say in the nicest way possible that as a kid, you may not realize how um, grumpy Max is being. Yes. And then now he's a teenager. Now we're adults and we're like, ooh, I hope it didn't act like that. And I get but it. Let's hope he's I didn't a act teenager. Like but I, it's, it's crazy how much it shifts. Like when I was a kid, I was definitely uh, empathizing with Max the entire time I was watching. Oh, yeah. And now in, as an adult. I'm looking at him like, man, leave, leave Goofy alone. He's just trying to be your father. <laughs> I'm sorry Max. he wants to take you on a cool fishing trip. <laughs> Wish my dad took me on a cool fishing He's trip. Trying to bond with Which you, Max. sounds so much fun. But I guess as a kid, I would have been like, what? This is lame. I know, like car ride. Well, like, even as a kid, I thought Max was being unreasonable. Well, well that's because you were a 47-year-old in a two-year-old's body. <laughs> yeah. So that's the thing that I wrote down too is that like Luis was a forty seven year old in well, Tito's body. I I'm always thinking that. But uh <laughs> no, that like that like Max uh he's being like selfish and moody and annoying and a teenager. But at the same time, Goofy is kind of not really considering his feelings. Like he doesn't even ask him if he wants to go on a trip or exactly. what kind of trip he would like to go on or anything like that. He's just like, Come on, Max, like, let's get in the car. No, wow, you're really good at that. <laughs> Thank re- you. He is. Nor does Goofy confront him about the situation. So a little bit, let's backtrack a little bit to the whole reason this trip kind of happened. Max had a plan to get Roxanne. Hold on. No, no. Let's all say, this is part of what you're saying. Let's all say the one word that got us to this situation, okay? Think about the word that defines why they're going on this trip. Can you think of a word? I can think of a word, yes. Well, mine's really two words, uh, I guess. But Okay, then, yes, I think I Because I think we're going to say the same yes. word. I think I have the two words. Okay, do you, do you know what you're going to say about why we're going on this trip? Why Goofy is taking him on this trip? I think so. Okay, on the count of three, everyone say it. Right, One, one two, two, three. three. Electric oh, chair. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I said criminal. I <laughs> criminal. said That's power line. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So I think three of us are on the same track, and one of us is with Max. So Electric chair, yes. So Max gets... I guess it's one word. Is that one word? I don't know. No, that's two words. It's two words. But Max gets in trouble at school because he does the most amazing thing possible. Max is the coolest dude in that school. He's the coolest kid. The coolest dude in the school. He's really not. He was actually a big nerd. Well, I guess he is, but I mean... He's the coolest kid now. Like... In terms of his plan, his plan was to get up on stage in front of the entire school, guts. Dr- dress up like uh, an extremely famous pop star, guts, put on the radio track and lip sync and dance to the entire song. And Max can do. And also, he was like swinging from a, a thing, although that was an accident, wasn't it? But he like rocked it. But like he, he rocked it. He went that with was not it. an accident. I For think PJ went and hooked. He hooked him. Yeah, but that's they right. did it as a joke. I think. Yeah. I don't think he knew he was the other guy. Yeah. No. Mm. That has to be it was a joke. Mm. <laughs> I think it was a joke. But just for Max being like, oh, I always want to have Roxanne. And he doesn't have enough guts to talk to her. Yeah. But he has enough guts to pull off an entire production to get the girl. That's legit. I'm going to say typical out. boy overthinking. No, yeah, it like no. should have just walked up to her that, and said, hey. That makes no sense to me. Why would you risk uh, the electric chair and not go talk <laughs> to her? <laughs> so why well, is the electric chair a part of this conversation, Michelle? <laughs> because... The principal called him. Mazer. Mazer said that <laughs> you need to keep your son in check because he's a bad kid and he's going to be a criminal. He's going to go to jail and he's going to end up in the electric chair. The principal is overreacting. Overreacting. Hold on, hold on. Let, let's, let's save the principal talk to our uh, after. Oh, hour. shit. Sure. Because yes. okay, I got a lot to say about the principal. <laughs> As an educator, Luis has a lot, okay. to, a lot say. to say. Subscribe on Patreon to hear about the principal. <laughs> if I had a principal and i got in trouble and he said i was gonna get the electric chair i would be scarred for life and never come back to school well he didn't actually say that to max he said it to goofy, said it to goofy and yeah. so Still. but so goofy instead like michelle's what she was saying instead of talking to max about it when he got home and being like hey i heard xyz happened he's like puts on this elaborate 
road trip and you wonder why Max comes up with an elaborate show to put on right. instead of just talking to Roxanne. They, they all are. have talking communication. Well, they directly think related. About, <laughs> really, the only reason they went on a road trip is because Goofy works at a photo company and he saw like a little bobblehead toy of a goof mm. with a fish. What if he had seen a different bobblehead toy? What if that bobblehead toy had been like, we going to space? Something like that. It could have <laughs> been a whole new movie. Well, Goofy had a very specific tie to that uh, fishing bobblehead because apparently his father, uh, yes. Goof Sr., uh, took him uh, on a fishing trip when he was a kid. And, and Goof Sr.'s senior took him. Yes. And Goof Sr. Sr. You know, senior senior took him. It's a long him. Goof tradition or whatever. No, it's just a Goof tradition. And also, what this movie was inspired by was the director had gone on a road trip slash camping trip slash fishing trip with his daughter and then he wrote this movie. Hmm. Well, I hope it went better than... I hope it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hope it went better than... Either, either, that, or, either that or he was just uh, pro- projecting all of his feelings onto this movie. Who knows? The poor oh, daughter yeah. was like, wow, dad, is that how you really felt? <laughs> oh dad, my I wasn't God. that bad, dad. <laughs> That's hilarious. So yes, they go on this road trip. Let's go, let's go scene by scene. So they do that on the open road song, which you don't like. It's it's funny, but I wouldn't. It's not my favorite. I think it's like funny. I wouldn't like listen to that on Pandora. It's, it's not my favorite out of them. <laughs> the intro one is my yeah. favorite. Yeah, on it's the open road day. is is funny, uh, mainly because we get to see Donald or yeah Mickey and Donald on the side of the road hitchhiking. hitchhiking. Yes. Goofy didn't pick them up. Rude, and we know they're <laughs> friends because earlier Max says something about like who's my favorite bud, and he's like Donald Duck. <laughs> He's they're like, definitely I'm going friends. on a trip with my best friend. Oh, who Donald Duck? <laughs> and he's they're like, definitely no, friends. you silly. <laughs> I mean, freaking Max has a Mickey Mouse phone in his room. Come yes, on, you're not going to pick up yeah. your own friend they, they, who you have a phone of. They kind of idolize Mickey Mouse. I guess they, Mickey it's and Donald It's because Mickey been... is the mayor of Toontown. That's right. <laughs> True. Which they live in Toontown. I don't know. And it kind of makes me think, like, there have been Mickey movies, right? But has there been like a, a theatrical Mickey movie, like a ninety minute movie that's come out in theaters that features and stars Mickey Mouse? Uh not that I know. I'm gonna go of. with not that I can. And there's definitely of. hasn't been one for Donald, right? Nope. It, it's no. interesting that Goofy is the one who got not one but two movies. Well, not theatrical release of Mickey stuff, but there's a ton of Mickey things. Like right, yeah. There's tons House of, of Mouse of and one, Mickey's Once Mickey. Upon a Christmas. But like, it's interesting that there's no But it's funny that you say that Mickey because movie. because I think a lot of people will say that if you have a movie, you've made it. If you have a TV show, you're like an under... like You're waiting to make you're it. You're waiting to make <laughs> it. And I, uh, listeners, if you want to come in on this c- discussion, you can, but when um, Elena of Avalor came out and they were like, it's the first like Hispanic princess, right. blah, blah, blah. Luis, the first thing Luis said was, well, she ain't getting her own movie. Mm-hmm. She's like, she's getting a TV show. And I'm like, yeah, but she gets more airtime on a TV right. show. Yeah. She gets like every it's hours and hours and hours yeah, yeah. every week. Like, you know, I don't know. Pocahontas got yeah. an hour. Yeah. I understand what he's but saying, But he's though. saying like, it's not the same type of prestige yeah. because it's, it's not, not dedicated. Because I don't know about her because I don't watch the children's show. FYI, it's pretty cute. If I watched the actual <laughs> movie, then I would understand it. You know so I mean? then does the same apply to Mickey Mouse? I would say probably not. Well, but no, because nah, Mickey Mouse, Mickey. he's, you know, he's holding Walt's hand in the, on the statue at the, at the, at the park. If you got like a that, statue, so. <laughs> you, you made, made it. it. Well, and like, you know what? Donald and Goofy statues are little next to Mickey's big old statue <laughs> in the hub. True. So there you go. So, so who yeah. really made it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the whole Fab Five did. Donald isn't even in the DuckTales movie. I don't think. I'm pretty sure he's not. DuckTales. No. Isn't it his uncle or something? He's Huey... Dewey and Louie's uncle, but they're but not hanging out with him. They're hanging out with Uncle Scrooge. Yeah, Different but that uncle. uncle. Yeah. yeah. I so is that Donald's brother? I think, or is that I think his it's uncle? Donald's uncle. Yeah, it's Huey Dewey. So Louis's it's their grunkles. Uncle. Grunkle. Okay. Correct. Got it. <laughs> Goofy movie. Um. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. That's really interesting. I didn't think about that, but I love all of the little tidbits that you saw of like Disney and whatnot because mm-hmm. they they talked about Walt Disney twice. Yes. In this movie, they talked about Goofy. Excuse me. They talked about Donald. They saw Donald and Mickey. And then they had the freaking Goofy had a D, like the Disneyland D yeah, he has on, a, his key on, chain. on his keychain. On his Disney keychain. Good for him. I, I kind of want that keychain. It was cute. Right, yeah. It was like red and gold and it had a little Could D have been out it. in the 90s for sure. I bet it was. I know. Probably. Right? Does anyone have one? <laughs> <laughs> like hook us up with one of those. Awesome <laughs> Paul. Well, before they get to the park, they're, oh. still, they're still on, uh, they're still on the open road. They're still on the open ride. Awesome there's, there's one point. Oh, so Jesus. I read. This is a fun fact. I read that, um, okay, so there's one point where there's a couple driving, and it's like a big lady and a little dude, yes. and Max is like, wow, that's odd, or whatever, and apparently that lady is 
the main singer lady in the Powerline concert who's singing Eye to Eye and Goofy walks in on her. Shut and up. And apparently the oh. her little boyfriend husband dude is like <laughs> the roadie and he's like pulling uh, the instruments out of the the container or whatever. The one that they throw they, they that they they're throw hidden in. Goofy and Max into. Yeah. That's legit. I d- I had no idea. That actually makes sense though because it does make sense. I did pay attention to her a little bit yeah. more this time. I guess That's everybody's hilarious. just going cross country to see the power line. They are though because let's just talk about the nuns for two seconds. Oh, there the are nuns. so many so nuns. many nuns <laughs> in this movie, <laughs> and they go to everyone's surprise the to the freaking power line concert. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody on that road trip. <laughs> I, I where do, to look question this up. though where do they originate from like i for some reason i thought that they were in california going south so it was like either south or to idaho no. but they're on the east coast I, somewhere i read that i i think that they're driving from somewhere near ohio like a columbus ohio okay and they're driving the, well goofy wants to take them like up to oregon right but then max diverts them down to like la which right. is a pretty so, big difference but well, and uh, i think that difference. the way that they do it if you remember the map like the way it was drawn they take like these ridiculous like routes yeah. and loop de loops and such mm-hmm. so like they just go west for a long time yeah. like west 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 and then it was either up to idaho or down to los angeles so mm-hmm. for them i think that was like just the last moment of yeah. choice and everything in between was like Eh. Oh, now we're let's going go south. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. I don't know. Fish in the. Check out this ball of yarn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my mom loves to knit, and Luis goes, Oh my God, is that real? Can we go there for your mom? <laughs> I was like, Oh God, ball of yarn. No. You're about to take a great road trip. <sighs> <laughs> to the possum park. Go yeah. ahead, Michelle. She's been waiting. For Blister's th- Possum Park oh. is the funniest scene. Okay. This. Before you get. Crazy into Lester's Possum Park. There is another fun fact. About you got. I'm sorry. I'm trying to let you get about there. About the Possum Park. <laughs> um, so apparently, there's a cut. There's some cut scenes, um, like on the way to Lester's Possum Park. Uh-huh. There's uh, there's signs all along the roads that Max and Goofy pass that say Paco's Water Park every hundred miles. Paco's Water Park. Paco's Water Park. And then as you get to like Paco's Water Park, turn right. Goofy just turns left into Lester's Possum Park, <laughs> just like diverting Max. And Max is like, oh, man, because the Possum Park is way better than a water park. Oof. You can go to the I Possum Park go. and the rest of us. We'll, we'll all go, go to Paco's. The water. Paco's water. Why is it Paco's? <laughs> the whole scene where all the little animatronics are completely broken is hilarious. <laughs> are they okay? Here's my question though: Are they making fun of Disney or are they yes. making fun of Chuck E. Cheese? Because it's like well, they're making I, I fun of Country little, Bear Jamboree, right? Yeah, it's mainly the Country Bear. Okay, Jamboree. because Which that's was what I one thought. of my absolute favorite attractions growing up. My parents would take us to Country Bear Jamboree multiple times a day. We would sing everything. I absolutely loved it. Yes, <laughs> my family's from Oklahoma, so maybe it's the Oki coming out of me. But I loved Country Bear Jamboree, and, and I need to go to Lesser Possum Park. <laughs> and your parents obviously <laughs> love you to have taken you multiple times a day. Multiple times a day. Because if, <laughs> if it was a show exactly like Lesser Possum Park, who, man. I w- okay, so I agreed with Goofy for like 99% of this movie. Except for that. Except for Lesser Possum Park. I Agreed. was right there along with Max, like, oh my God. There's nothing why wrong with Lester's Possum Park. Would you take Park? me here? I agree. Who's your favorite possum? <laughs> <laughs> it's so, so bad. bad. <laughs> and but little it's hillbilly kids like a tag it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. that, that little girl. girl with the gap teeth. <laughs> I know that there's nothing wrong with her, but there's something. <laughs> oh. She looks like um, the girl from Finding Nemo who like shakes Dory really yes. hard. Yeah. Yeah. She's kill her. yeah, she's like the dog version of her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forget, keep forgetting they're all dogs. dogs dude. <laughs> and I like when they're doing the little hoedown and Max is like, no. Oh, so oh I love it when Max punches out the, the possum <gasps> dude. Because uh, he won't leave him alone. Well, you know what's really funny about this whole thing is that like goof like everyone i this is gonna sound so mean but this is my my empowerment for for the week for everyone <laughs> people only pick on you if you let them pick on you so freaking max is like the kid i don't know some kid walks by and he's like goof senior and goof junior right. and max is like eh. it's like <laughs> dude you it. you need to say something back to that kid like well you're ugly so <laughs> sucks to suck and like, goof is having the time of his life that's what i'm saying goof i was like wild yeah. i would go have if you have fun people can't make fun of you because exactly. if you're having a good time what are they going to say like oh they look stupid because they're having all kinds of fun yeah exactly. who said right. that people only say you look stupid if you look stupid <laughs> max very true it's so funny i think i i wrote down uh in that lester's possum park scene that like 
Goofy is like constantly embarrassing Max, but this movie took place in the nineties before like kids had cell phones. So like nowadays, if if that exact same situation happened where uh, Goofy took Max to like this awful <laughs> awful park and was you know having that much fun. Max would just pull out his phone and Snapchat Goofy and make him go viral and embarrass him oh, right, yeah. right on back. You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, big difference mm-hmm. in social media. There was no. But he also doesn't understand that, like, if it was now and he really was that embarrassed, he has no way of going viral. So, really, nobody that he knows even knows that happened. Exactly. So, like, why even bother being Why do you even care? Like, you don't know these people. Mm-hmm. You don't know these hillbillies. Yeah. No offense. <laughs> I think I think the reason I like probably never come Lester's back Possum Park is because... It's because they were all going to the Powerline concert. <laughs> they probably were. After the Lester's Possum Park scene, they stop and, like, go camping. And a whole big fiasco happens with Bigfoot. Oh, my God. But, Which like, was Luisa's favorite part. After that, that so part, good. then they kind of start, like, considering each other's feelings like they go to breakfast and goofy's like you are now the official map director holder or something navigator and navigator, navigator. <laughs> thank you you're the now the official navigator of the road trip and that's when they start you know goofy wasn't considering max feelings at all no. and then once max got control he was not considering goofy's feelings at all he was mm-hmm. going on roller coasters and they were going wave boarding and all of these things that goofy was just gonna throw up and then he took them to the little yarn place <laughs> and then they like started going and having a bunch of fun so yeah. i liked that they started having fun towards the end of the end of the trip but yeah it's it's interesting that like you went over the bigfoot scene. yes you went over the yeah, bigfoot i'm gonna scene. need you to all come back to the oh, bigfoot scene. Like, okay. which is i think uh, and the rv scene the second of <laughs> the <laughs> RV scene. but the the bigfoot scene i think is like the second of max's like big transgressions in this oh, movie. Yeah. The first is when he lies to Roxanne, right? He 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 finds out that he's going on this trip with Goofy and he's like, "You know what? I got to make this right. I got to go to Roxanne's house, meet her father cancel for the first time, cancel our date that I've and only expi- had for an hour and explain what happened and hopefully she'll forgive me." But then he kind of just like cracks under pressure at the very last second because she's not like feeling it. I won't lie. I have I have a bone to pick with Miss Roxanne. Ah. So like this dude tells you, like, I'm sorry, I have to go on a trip with my dad. And you're like, fine, I'll just go with somebody else. I'll just find somebody else. Yeah, I like, thought that, too. What? She's, she's rude. <laughs> like, that's kind of the reason why he felt like he had to lie. I'm not saying lying is right. right. But, like, she could have been like, oh, you're going on a trip with your dad. Not like, oh, you're trying to go with somebody else. Right. Yeah. Like, he had a legitimate reason. Yeah, yeah. he did. Mm-hmm. I guess not. <laughs> I mean, in a teenager <laughs> eyes. Like, I mean, I'm going with my dad to see Power Light concert. Hmm. I know, and then she's like all back into it, like, "Oh my god, you're oh gonna, god, you're gonna be there! Oh my god, you're gonna be on stage! Oh my god, I can't you wait!" No power line. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I knew power line. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Oh. Uh, but then in the Bigfoot scene, uh, <laughs> after Bigfoot uh, trashes their camp. Finds a, a Walkman, I'm puts sorry. it on, and starts dancing to Staying Stay Alive. Alive by the Bee Gees. I think that oh, might have been the yes. first time I ever heard that song. If this movie came out in 1995. You can tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man. No time to talk. Oh, my God. <laughs> Literally. And <laughs> the funniest part about this whole thing is that probably none of you have seen Luis dance because Luis just oh, doesn't dance. I've like never seen Luis dance. I know. Like, he just doesn't dance. But do you want to know how Luis dances? Yes. Shoulder, shoulder, <laughs> shoulder, exactly shoulder, like shoulder. Bigfoot. And I'm like, oh my God, you got your moves from Bigfoot. That's then, hilarious. Because then he just does a little finger back and forth. I'm like, dude, you got your moves from Bigfoot. <laughs> Luis so dances funny. like Bigfoot, everyone. Um, so he was a child and he was watching this movie and he was like, that's what I'm going to do. That's shoulder, oh, shoulder, shoulder. Shoulder, shoulder. <laughs> that was the best scene of all. It's so good. That that, that Bigfoot. I love that scene because I love that that before Bigfoot is like really attacking them. Goofy is recording on the camera, and then he just starts like narrating. He's like, "Look, it's the legendary Bigfoot <laughs> as it's chasing them away." And Max is like losing his mind. He's like, "What? <laughs> We're gonna be famous?" Well, and the best part about the whole thing is that like Bigfoot is animal enough. To tear up their campsite, mm-hmm. but totally like human enough or intelligent enough to have like sock puppet yeah. like, talks in front of the car. <laughs> yeah, sock mean, puppet can't on. like dance to staying alive. He was dancing oh. disco to disco music. <laughs> he, so, he put I that mean. he put the pair of underwear on his head and then he just starts laughing like. Ah. <laughs> 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 oh, that was it it's was so classic. Like, but then so then Goofy and Max are in the car, and what happens? Like Goofy's foot hit the hit the the, the dash or something like that and the map pops out 
It's like, yeah, oh, yeah. At that point, and then uh, yes. well, we're jumping around. We're, we're kind of okay, jumping okay, around. Okay, and then okay. Max, he <laughs> sees the map. It's glowing with red light. Seriously, I wrote down like, "Wow, oh, yeah. talk about like a moral moment it's in this very freaking dramatic. movie." And he's like, he's like, his ar- his eyes are darting past the Goofy in the map <laughs> and Goofy in the map, and then he's like, "I'm changing the map." And the pencil comes out, and the eraser's like super big, like erase me. <laughs> <laughs> he's making too much noise as he's <laughs> scribbling the map. No, that doesn't happen though. And then once they're done, the, all of the pieces of like the postcard he was trying to write to Roxanne go out the window and the little part stays there and it's like I, I lied. lied. It's <laughs> so the dramatic. It's the I best lied. shot in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> like, ooh. I lied. Teach kids not to lie. Right? And it's right after that super duper sweet high dad soup scene. Oh. Speaking of high dad, dad soup. soup. High dad soup. I think maybe now that I'm a parent, like my emotion, you know, I'm just like, oh, my God, this is so cute. But like Luis and I looked at each other like, oh, my God, Addie's going to have hi, mom, soup. (laughs) And I was like, wow, this is just embarrassing. Mm -hmm. But you want to know what's really cool is that our friends over at Geek Suey, we talked about Uh, them a couple weeks ago. They actually made hi, dad, soup for one of their um, for one of their recipes. And they posted it online. So we'll have to repost the picture and the information. It is literally the cutest picture ever. Oh, I'm trying to eat some high dad soup. I know. I love soup. It actually looked much better than their high dad soup that just literally was like Campbell's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Geeks Mm -hmm. who eats had like vegetables and potatoes oh. and stuff so yummy so much more it was delicious. hearty <laughs> nom, nom, nom. you sounded like nom, yoda nom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i got some weird, ac- I got some weird <laughs> accents going on today um i also want to talk about so bigfoot's done they're back in the car they're driving and the moment of truth comes where max has to pick which way he's going he going north or is he going south i'm going to take you <laughs> i'm going to take you and goofy's like LA. which way are we going which way? Which that, way, Max? That was a tough oh, that's scene. right. Because Cause Goofy, because Goofy was informed by Pete that the his snitch. son's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Pete is a snitch. Pete's the worst. Hey, Goof, I gotta tell you. <laughs> wow, do you just yeah, you should just do liar. that voices for everyone in this movie, Andre. What annoys me about Pete is that he's not doing it to look out for him. Pete's doing it to be right. Like right, what a yeah, and that's kind of like right his whole Jesus interaction because like even in the beginning of the movie, he's like, "Oh, Goof, you gotta, you gotta." Put a hammer down on your kids or whatever he says. I know. Well, and they I had this that. whole conversation about respect versus love. Yes. Like Goofy was like, my son loves me. And Pete's like, but my son respects me. And <laughs> you're like, like, watch this. PJ! <laughs> like, oh, my God. Oh, yeah. In his RV. We didn't talk about his RV, which is <sighs> decked out. And I don't understand how he could afford such a thing when he is the manager at a photo place in the mall. I don't get it. He's definitely, I was well, like, it was the 90s. Like, he works at like JC Penny's yeah. photo op. Like, <laughs> yeah, and his RV has a bowling alley on top of it. Yes, it does. And a pool for some reason. It had a pool. It had a jacuzzi. It had a fish. PJ is buffing the <laughs> floors. An octopus in there. <laughs> it did have an octopus in there. So when they, anyways, goof, not goof, Max picks the wrong road and yeah. they're going to LA and Goofy is like pissed. Oh, he has Goofy to pull over so and get out of the side of the car and then the car just starts rolling away because of course Goofy didn't put it in park <laughs> and they end up in the freaking river and then they sing the best ballad ever. The song. Go ahead and sing it. Uh-huh, I'm on. not going to sing it. Oh. I'm going <laughs> to eat I think she's going to cry. <laughs> well, you know what don't I you wrote? love that song? Well, it's funny because I don't know. I feel, I wonder if this is a valley thing but like where we live, we live um, very, you want to take us like in the center of the state of California. We're in the center on both very sides. Center. We're literal center from the mountains to the ocean. So when our, when we get anywhere near a river, we are like the runoff from the, from the, from the mountains. Thank you from the mountains. Yes. And we can ride the river. Mm-hmm. And that's something that we do like in our area. And I don't know if other places do that, but we will like go up to a high point at the river and literally float down the river for four or five, six hours. It's very fun. And I, th- and I wrote down, this is the best and worst float down the river ever <laughs> because the views were absolutely fabulous. Like that yeah. is not what the San yeah, Joaquin river looks like. No. That's no, not what the not. Stanislaus looks like. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not the worst, but it's not what it looks like. But then also like, Death to Death by Waterfall. Death by Waterfall. Death by waterfall, yeah. It's so nice and peaceful when they're singing. No body else but you. You guys didn't like that song? No, it was <laughs> cute. It's just when Andre sings it like oh. that, I get a little nervous. Yeah, like she said, it was the best and the worst. Uh, 
the, the river float? rafting float? <laughs> ride. Float. float down the river. Float. Yeah. But that was a good song. I really But at least then they finally I opened up you. to each other and Goofy was like, This is what your principal told me and Max was like, I gotta get this girl. But I'm not going to. And Goofy was like, we going to do it. Well, right. That's what I told Luis, too. I'm like, couldn't we have just started here? This would have been such a better movie. As well, not maybe soon, not such a better movie. As but soon as they communicated, it was all solved. What a all concept. Perfect. Goofy took him there immediately. As soon as Max And was he, like, like, totally got on. I literally was like, best wingman right. ever. He's the best dad in the world. He's like, oh, we just got to sneak into the Powerline concert? Oh, sure. you just want to get up on Goofy stage? That's fine. He is the realest <laughs> Disney dad. Like, No problem. We'll just hide in the suitcases. He is a good dad. He's a fantastic dad. Yeah. And then, and Max listens. He 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 casts his fishing line and saves Goofy's life. You know what I'm thinking? I think that we should we because I totally work for Disney, right? Mm. We should retheme the Grizzly Ride to be the Goofy River Ride, and it could be like the whole the whole river scene. Wouldn't that be funny? Yes, that'd be super funny. With like Goofy standing on the side, like, hang on, Max. That that big old Little Mermaid fish hanging off of his foot. Yes, Mm. please. (laughs) I was just gonna say that. Then we could have the Little Mermaid fish there. Mm -hmm. That would be too funny. I think there were a couple Little Mermaid references. In yeah, there, there, there was. There was quite a bit. Even I was able to pick these up. <laughs> even I. A, there was quite a bit of uh, Easter eggs in that movie. Yeah. Lots of Easter there eggs. Was, uh, are we, can we talk about those? Again? Well, sure. You sure. transitioned there. Go ahead. Um, I think that there was the Skull <laughs> Island reference. And there, I don't believe it. Skull Rock. Skull Rock. I oh, right. From was Peter Pan. Skull Rock slash Ariel reference. I believe it was Skull Rock slash. <laughs> the what do you call the mermaids from Peter Pan? From Peter Pan, yeah. yeah. So that's what it was. And then there was a reference to Bambi, the little deer that was given to the girl. Who oh yeah, was, that's yeah. right. In the beginning, when yeah, Goofy's, and then uh, the Mickey Mufasa Donald. was up there too. Don't think I missed that. That's what I said. Uh, he was like, "That's not Mufasa." No. I'm like, that oh, was Mufasa. 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 It was. That was Big Daddy Mufasa. Said no. Michelle. No, <laughs> she would know all about Big Daddy Mufasa. Yeah, yes, would. I do. <laughs> she would recognize that mane anyway. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, no, I, I mean, the reason why I want to say it is is because, like, the Bambi one, it's obvious. The the coloring and everything made it stand out the more. The spots and I saw stuff, the Mufasa yeah. one, but it just didn't stand out. So that's why I'm, I'm it not was just And, you know, Luis is an um, expert, so. He is. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. he just gave me a face like, <laughs> you better oh, shut your oh, mouth, oh, woman. Luis, I have another <laughs> quizzy question Ooh. for you. Luis you can't quiz. you can't answer, Andre, because you already know Michael J. Answer. Fox. No. Oh. <laughs> Powerline is a cross between three... Musical artist. MC Hammer. Um, no. Michael Jackson. That's one. And uh, Ice Ice Baby. No. no. Ice Ice Baby. <laughs> you are so. You got one. Michael Jackson, Bobby Brown, and Prince. Beautiful. Ooh, yeah. Which, and He's it's awesome. funny that you say that. Because Bobby Brown? Yeah. You see that? You guys see that? Yeah. I see Bobby more of Brown an MC Hammer. And like the way his voice sounds. MC sound, Hammer. I, I see more MC Hammer, Prince, and uh, Michael Jackson, but... I don't know. That's just right. Mm. Well, it's funny because I found I found those references, which I think is cool and obviously very true to the time period, like looking back on references. Yeah. But um, I found a um, an article that said it was named 10 pictures that prove Bruno Mars is actually power line from a oh, goofy movie. Yes. <laughs> and it shows pictures of him in his concert. And literally he's doing all the power line moves. Oh, whoa. Like his outfits look exactly the same. Oh he's my He's doing gosh. the same stances. And I was like, yes, he and totally always, is the sex is, pot that I is always, power line. I always say that Bruno Mars is like a modern day Michael Jackson. Oh yeah. Anyways, so I could totally see that. Oh, yeah. Bruno and power line. Let's go on tour. I'm he I'm should saying. cover both of those songs. He I mean, should. And he could holograms. totally sing them too, mm-hmm. because Oh, yes. he could totally oh. sing um, yeah. them. We'll just we'll just call up you know Bruno and be like, hey, hey, <laughs> yes, hey, Bruno, hey, hey. <coughs> listen, Bruno, hey, Bruno. Hey, well, if hey. they were to do a live action of this movie, then he'd definitely oh. be in it. So. If you listen to it, just as hot. I'll sing <laughs> the entire song. Don't. Wow, Luis. What was that? <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to impersonate my voice. <laughs> oh. 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 That was not me wow. singing. Wow. Wow. Okay, well. Anyway. Anyways, Powerline has to be the best musical, fictional <laughs> musical artist out there. Yeah. Fictional 90s musical artist, Powerline. I don't think there's any other like stars like that in Disney movies, like where the characters no, are actually like really. starstruck by someone. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think back. Like, I guess it, it's weird because, like, Max and Goofy live such a normal life, I guess. <laughs> Goofy goes to a job and Max goes to school and they're 
just taking this one wild adventure. Yeah. And uh, they get to see a, a superstar. Yeah, I don't know. He has don't posters s- of Powerline all over his room. He has a room. cardboard cutout of Powerline that gets like sucked into a vacuum. It looks like my room in the 90s when I had NSYNC pictures everywhere. Exactly. Well, when I had Justin night. Timberlake and Lance Bass everywhere. Everywhere. Uh, 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 Not uh, very different from my room now. Nah. <laughs> exactly. Power we line. still love JT. <laughs> Which power song line song do you like better? Stand out or the other one? Or eye to eye? I think I like eye to eye. I like yeah. eye to I like eye that better. one better as well. That's, wow, that's, we all agreed on that's something. The, that's it the was, ending one. Yeah, it's a climax. And uh, it's cool because like, they get, they get to do the the fishing line dance oh my <laughs> hey, on TV oh, in front of Roxanne. So mm. I know. Well, that's actually a really good segue because what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into dun 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 battle. <laughs> battle. Louis says battle. Dun dun dun. Battle. <laughs> All right, ladies and gents, for this week's battle, who, in your guys' opinion, has better m- dance moves? Ooh. Powerline or Goofy? <laughs> <laughs> ready? <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. Everybody I think that's trademarked. Mom- <laughs> <laughs> that's immediately the only thing I can think of. I'm trying, I like, I know Goofy dances in other scenes in this movie, but that's all I'm thinking of is him in his towel and his head wrapped towel dancing in Max's He's room. He's totally a mom right there. <laughs> he is momming it up. He doesn't have any hair. Why Don't forget to look on his head? because his ears usually hang down, but he has his ears wrapped up in his towel. <laughs> 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 Andre's dying right now. <laughs> that is so funny. Um, okay. okay, so Goofy or Powerline? <laughs> or Powerline. Now, Powerline is a, I assume, a classically trained dancer. Um, <laughs> you, you don't, you don't get to wear that suit and not have gone to school for it. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Goofy, on the other hand, is a self-made man. Self-made man for sure. Self-made dog. He's a. <laughs> 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 woof woof. <laughs> He's up my dog, and he, um, you know, he kind of just does his own thing. He improvs it a lot. I'm just saying, if you're a good dancer, you know how to improv. <laughs> right, that's true. He made yeah. up that fishing line dance, and then power line did it and made it look better. Well, but Goofy the, did the dance. The fishing first. line dance has been passed, passed down, down yeah. for from goof to goof for generations. So yeah. it's dancing is in their genes, and they didn't even know it. Right. <laughs> Mm. I did say, though, when we were watching the original scene where Max got in trouble, he's in the principal's office, and then he ends up talking to Roxanne, and he's still in trouble, right? Yes. He's still in trouble, but she says she wants to go to this concert. He lands uh, the excuse date. me. He lands the date. He wants to go watch the concert at, at Stacy's house. Mm-hmm. And he freaking starts mumbling. Everybody mumble! He's mumbling with the with secretary. The secretary. Max like, oh, is so oh, much like his I'm dad. I'm not in my break yet. Oh, oh. <laughs> That was so funny. And that was the first inkling where you're like, wow, like father, like son. Yes. But the moves were there. Mm -hmm. Like they were there. They weren't just mamboing. They were like goofs got moves. (laughs) So um, I don't know. Well, and and of course, you know, Max is dancing as Powerline in the beginning of the movie during the standout song. Mm -hmm. So those are Powerline. Those are Powerline's moves. I'll, I'll, I'll give those up to him. So I think I like power lines dance moves a little bit better <laughs> just because you know he's classically trained as i said um but i i will i will give props to goofy he, he he can get down on the on the diggity dance floor the doggity dance floor uh <laughs> but i think i think i'm gonna i'm gonna choose power line just um diggity doggity dance the floor. doggity dance floor triple d again <laughs> <laughs> no oh my stop God. <laughs> michelle uh I'll go last. Okay, Emily? I'm going to say Goofy only because I really do think that the quality of a dancer involves their ability to improv. And a lot of times when you... I've done a lot of performing in my life. A lot of times if something goes wrong um, on stage, either technically or whatever, people on stage don't know how to react to that. Like, they don't know how to cover it up. And Goofy literally fell like out of this orb thing and got placed on like the superstar stage I think and he got electrocuted at one point there you go he got electrocuted yeah, sure. and totally rocked he it. rocked it mm-hmm. and for someone to be that ridiculous and totally rock it i'm gonna say he's a better maybe a better performer but i'm sure. still gonna say dancer okay. good mm. for him <laughs> that's good Luis. 
Well, I would have to say after that last scene, Powerline should hire him as his choreographer. His choreographer. <laughs> oh my God! Uh, Can you imagine? <laughs> you know what? I, looking at that scene with Powerline, <laughs> the perfect cast. Get, the perfect cast. I guess you get the impression that Max at the beginning does his dance moves, but like when you actually see Powerline dance, I wasn't really sold it's not the on same. it. Mm. You know, it's just like <laughs> Max says your moves better than you, yeah, Powerline. <laughs> Goofy yeah. and more possessed. And for that reason, you know, I can't really say that Powerline was a better dancer because I didn't see enough right. good dancing from him. But yeah. from Goofy. Had a, he, had a, he had a lot of standard stuff, but then Goof comes in, does his, you know, perfect cast. And <laughs> that, when it was done in unison with the three, was pretty gnarly. So Kills I'm going to have it. to go with the Goof. I'm going to go with a Goof, but it ain't Goofy. Oh. You're going to go with... I'm going with Max, and he was not a choice. And my argument is... Nope, wasn't a choice. <laughs> well, my choice Sorry. was going to be Bigfoot, and that also wasn't a choice. Well, you can't tell by the way. Well, we're gonna, if we're going to go that route, then... No, no, no. <laughs> no, okay, no, no. Hold they're, hold they're, they're, let me explain. Stick with it right now. Go Stick ahead. Stick with it right now, and then we'll go to our alternate choice. Okay, well, well, Goofy, I, I vote for Goofy. Okay. So we have a clean sweep. Uh, did no, you say power line? I said, I said power, power line. line. Something mm-hmm. wrong with you. Okay. The reason I'm saying Max is because, yes, the jeans run in the family if they've been doing that dance or whatever forever, and they have a lot of pizzazz, but Max is younger, and mm-hmm. he can already dance like that. We don't know if Goofy could dance like that when he was young. We don't mm-hmm. know. Okay. But Max has potential. Max yeah. is a really good dancer. He has a lot of potential, and he was still dancing when he got hooked to the thing and was swinging through the air, so yeah. he's a better dancer. That was really cool. But you Goofy, I vote for Goofy, especially if you've ever seen an extremely Goofy movie. Oh. There's oh, a yeah. scene where he oh, does yeah. like a 70s dance on rollerblades. Yeah. Shake it, groove back, shake it, groove back. Goofy's Come got the moves. Show him how to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> there you go again, impersonating my voice. <laughs> All right, I'm voting for Goof. <laughs> All right. You guys right. want to know how much Andre likes Powerline? There was, I was at this store in the mall called Box Lunch. It's a new store, but they have like really nerdy stuff. And there was this Powerline shirt, and it had Powerline and like the giant lightning bolt on it. And I was like, yes, Andre like loves Powerline. I got to get it. So I got him. The shirt looked kind of small. So I was like, I'll buy a large, even though Andre's a medium, because it looked kind of small. And then I get there, and Andre puts it on, and the shirt fits him, but it like goes almost all the way down to his knee. <laughs> <laughs> and he's all, and I looked at the tack and it said women's large. <laughs> she bought me a women's shirt, but honestly. Why does it go to your knees? It's so long. It's like what, almost, what almost a dress. I don't know. Proportion like that. Maybe it was a dress. <laughs> but maybe. Long story short, I returned it. Yeah. His poor present got returned. I was going to say it. Like, maybe we could get you a medium and yeah, we'll just call if, it a schmedium. If it, if it, a schmedium? <laughs> if it came to a normal length on my body, I, I, I would have kept it. The well, you should have just cut it and we could have hemmed it. Oh. We have Hemming. listeners that do that. Gosh dang it. Well, Power line. time to go back to box lunch. All right. Well, there you go. I See mean, you? one time I wore a uh, women's jacket to get into a bar because they wouldn't let me in unless I had a fancy jacket. <laughs> he did. He was wearing a T-shirt and they told him he couldn't wear a T-shirt. So he had to wear someone's, uh, what do you call it? Pea coat. Yeah. And it was definitely a woman's <laughs> pea coat. He was looking was, real so, fitted. You know, yeah. <laughs> real Trim, fitted you know, in the wrong so ways. Cut in the waist. <laughs> mm-hmm. you know. Good. Rocking that belt. Yeah. Uh, Struggle's real. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. <laughs> he was driving the struggle bus that day. Speaking of belts, uh, <laughs> Powerline, he, he has a... He Let's has talk a, about that waist, though. He's got a nacho chip body. He, his shoulders <laughs> what? are so far out. You mean a Doritos and then they, body? They, they, yeah, Doritos, my bad. Hourglass and body. then they triangle down directly to his tiny, tiny... I'm pretty sure his fingers are thicker than his waist is. Oh, 100%. He's wearing a <laughs> Yeah, he's wearing a power suit, man. He's down. <laughs> he has an hourglass. Yeah. Mm. That's there hilarious. was no sand getting, <laughs> getting through, <laughs> like, at all. Sand was too thick to get through that one, so <laughs> his waist was that small. You guys, we all really love this movie, but what does it have on Rotten Tomatoes? Ah. It was terrible. I'm going to cry. Was it? So, it was terrible. this movie on Rotten Tomatoes... Prepare yourself, Emily. Has, no, it has a no. 53% oh. on Rotten Boo. Tomatoes. Which I think is hilarious, because when I posted the graphic about this movie... On our Instagram, we got like so, many, so people. many people were like, 
this was my favorite as a kid. And that hasn't really Were happened. Were we all 90s kids? Is that why? Did everybody that commented on it was a 90s kid? I'm an 80s kid. But not everybody. No. But this movie's great. No, I, I and think I it's told very Andre, good. Like, there's a lot of movies. Like, there's Disney princess movies. And then we have these other animated mm-hmm. movies. And we have Pixar. But there's something about a classic, like, animated cartoon movie. And this movie hits it spot on. And it's hilarious. 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 Yeah. It should have way better than a 53%. I don't know what the critics were thinking. What's like the audience score? Is it different? Um, On Rotten Tomatoes, the audience score is 70%. Yeah. Okay. So that's still not. No, that's not even that It great. has a cult following, though, I feel like. Yeah. After it came out in like 95 uh, on VHS, it got it got like way more publicity than when it did when it was in theaters. I don't think it made that much money I feel like either. that's the start of your summer. <laughs> Like if you're you, if you show going to school and you know school's out for the summer you gotta start it off with the you know the goofy movie the goofy, the goofy movie, movie. Mm-hmm. that actually would be like a really good movie to start but that's why it reminded me of Greece because I felt like it at least like how they went back to school in the beginning scene yeah. but then they were leaving I don't know it totally that's why it reminded me, me of hairspray because she's going to school uh-huh. and good morning. Time. Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good song. <laughs> so what are you going to rate this movie then, Andre? Um, it's your birthday, man. It's my birthday. Uh, <laughs> I think... I, I, I like this movie a lot. It has a lot of great stuff in it. Um, there's a lot of very good, very powerful uh, emotional father-son stuff in it. Uh, it's hilarious almost all the way through. Uh, it's there's, quite funny. There's like no, there's no jokes that don't land or anything like that. I didn't find myself going, "Oh, that wasn't funny anymore" or anything like that. Mm-hmm. I I think this movie is like a, a nine. It's straight up good stuff. <laughs> mm-hmm. I completely agree. I'm also giving this movie a nine. It's there's. I can't like say anything bad about it. It's a good movie. It's not too long. It's, it's super not short. Too short. Yeah. Like, it was the perfect length. I was never bored. I never felt like it was super slow or anything like that. I mean, I will admit that it has a weird intro scene, but... And that Lester's Possum Park still makes me mad. But. I like Lester's Possum Park. <laughs> Hold on, what's the intro scene that's weird? Oh, oh the, in dream. the Dream. Yes. Yeah, but well, not what's happening. turns into Goofy, which is hilarious. Well, he yeah. make his dad into a monster, oh, and it's yeah. like, really, he's just turning into Goofy. Calm that down. Was like, that, that's like the only gripe I have about the movie. Is like, that was I totally weird. forgot that was even in the movie. When it started, I was like, mm-hmm. yes. hey, what's happening? Solid nine for this movie. Very good movie. What about you, Em? Um, I'm going to give it an 8.5. Mm-hmm. I really, really like it. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, I just, I, I think that Max is... Um, I have choice words about how I feel about him in the beginning. He's mm-hmm. a whiny, um, he's yep. a whiny person. He's a jerk. So I just, I just don't like that, you know, and yeah. it bothers me. But w- I mean, I know it's part of the story. Like, what are you going to make him nice? And then he's going to go on this trip. I mean, it, it totally messes up the plot. So exactly. I get that. But I like how now I feel like I'm looking for things um, to find, you know, and get excited about. And there was a lot of running themes in this movie, a lot of things to get excited about. Yeah. And the nuances, even though um, it wasn't, the animation wasn't like super super detailed there was a lot of detail in the animation if that yeah. makes sense yeah, exactly. there was a lot of like little things like we talked about like the bigfoot all the things he was pulling out right. and the stuff on the dashboard or like when they were going from town like or from stop to stop like yeah, one of the, the places totally looked like california adventure mm-hmm. and one totally looked like new orleans square i mean they could have yeah. just stopped in new orleans i yeah. mean but I it's just cool because those little things like tied you back to disney or disneyland or whatever so Mm -hmm. not that california adventure was out but you know what i mean like still it still makes you think of the the parks and and the the memories the (laughs) The memories (laughs) Luis, yeah what is your rating nine nine (laughs) solid Solid. nine don't Not trust nine. Rotten Tomatoes on this one, y'all. No. Rotten Tomatoes is wrong this time. Yeah. Except when it comes to the DC movies, unfortunately. Yeah, those are. Yeah. You know, and, and, and I'm, I'm going to certify this as fresh. There you go. Yeah. Certified this fresh. This movie is certified fresh from the Walt Vault Pod. You heard it here first. <laughs> yep. And I'm they not trying to bash DC movies, so please, you know. Are you DC not, though? <laughs> fanboys out there. I'll bash them. Do not <laughs> think that I'm trying to bash on DC because I am my favorite. Superhero of all time is from DC. So. Same. 
and they it ruined is. it. Yeah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> um, but guess what? Because this movie is not that popular, I bet it'll never go in the vault and we'll always be able to watch it. That's true. So go <laughs> out there and watch a Goofy movie if you haven't watched it. And if you have a vault member tomorrow. <laughs> and if you oh haven't seen an extremely Goofy movie, it's currently on Netflix and it's actually really funny. It's a really so good second funny. movie. Yeah. It's a, a great sequel. And it's it, it's cool because you definitely don't ha- you don't have to have seen the first one. No, yeah, um, they don't reference it that much. No, no they don't reference all. it at all. So like you can totally watch it if even if you didn't watch this first one or even if at all. Um, but the second one's where he goes off to college. Yeah, Max goes off to college, and oh. and Goofy comes with him. Yes, and Goofy yes, he in, does. Falls in love with the librarian. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's a lot of good stuff in it. There's a lot of good stuff in that movie. Less nuns though. Is Not there? as many nuns. We'll have to confirm. What was that? <laughs> like I think I think Sister Act had come out in Sister Act came out in 1992 with Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah, where she was a nun, and yeah. I think there was just like a lot of nunnery in the world <laughs> at the time. They there was a lot of silly everything. nuns going Lots on. Lots of silly nuns. Oh my! Gosh. Nuns are funs. <laughs> nuns are fun. Stop. Yeah, like a Virgin Airlines, you know, takeoff video. Yeah. Oh, oh, like there's always oh, one. Like a nun yes, and a yes, doctor yes, yes. Okay. and a, a lawyer and a guy in a suit. Yeah, yeah okay. Always. Gotcha. gotcha. That was a very specific <laughs> <movie>. <laughs> We're all like, uh, okay. <laughs> so, so what's happening next week? Andre, why don't you tell everyone what's happening? Oh, that's happening? right. So. Because it's the last week in the month. It's the last uh, week of February. So. And because it's his birthday month. That means you the listener, get to vote on a movie. So next week, we're going to have voting on these three Disney movies. That we Andre a, chose. Yeah, that, I, that I chose. We got a, <laughs> an oldie, a, a newie, and a, a Pixar-y. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you get to vote and choose between Pinocchio, Aladdin, or Brave. Please don't pick Pinocchio. Or Brave, as I like to call it. What do you mean don't pick Pinocchio? Uh, I just bought it, and it's certified <laughs> fresh. Certified fresh, Michelle. It's certified failure. You just said certified. Okay. <laughs> it's certified. It's not a failure. It's one of the first Disney classics. We just talked about it. We out. didn't vote on this shit. Jiminy Cricket is the freaking, he's the guy. He's the whole mascot, dude. Listen, we got two other great movies to pick from. She's just Aladdin mad because... She doesn't get to go to Fantasyland or wherever they go. When you wish upon a star. It makes no difference, Michelle, about which star to the right you're going to. That's right. So <laughs> go to the Instagram page and uh, vote on uh, one of these three movies, and it will be chosen and watched by us and talked about next week. Speaking of Brave, <laughs> since, since that's one of the movies you wanted to vote on, uh huh. it's like totally like a goofy movie. But with a mother. <laughs> it's a mom and daughter a instead of a goof and a son. Right. Louis, would you like to use your voice and say the thing with the thing? Your brave voice. W- what voice? <laughs> what? <laughs> your, your Scottish voice. Oh, are you talking about me Scottish voice? <laughs> yes. That's the one. I mean, for ha- for being... Say the, say the line. What line are you... Oh, I know what line you are talking <laughs> oh. about. Oh. <laughs> if you had a chance to change your fate... Would ya? <laughs> yeah. Pretty good, right? Pretty good. So Aladdin. He Pinocchio. can't even do like a Hispanic accent, but he can do a Scottish do a accent. Scottish. I just don't understand. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> Aladdin, Prince Ali. Aladdin, Pinocchio, or Brave. What will it be? We'll yeah. have to find out. So find out. Check out our Instagram page. And now page. that we hit 250 followers on our Instagram page, oh, yeah. <laughs> we're going to have right. lots of votes rolling in for these movies. Yes. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Tell vote. your friends to vote. Yeah, tell everybody to vote. Because those votes count too. They could also follow or subscribe, uh, you know, any of the other stuff. <laughs> they can just vote to. on something they don't listen to. Whatevs. Yeah. <laughs> and if you guys want uh, more content from us, you can go over to our Patreon page. We're uh, patreon.com slash the Walt Vault. You can sign up for as little as a dollar a month and get access to our exclusive after show, A Crack in the Vault, where we discuss some of the more adult themes of these Disney movies. So check us out there. Please, and thank you. Also, you can go there and just listen to the show. You don't even necessarily have to become a patron. Like, I post all the episodes there, so go there, follow us. It'll give you notifications when, when the thing comes out. It's the nice. Thing. You know. <laughs> the thing. You know, this thing we're doing <laughs> right now? The thing we're doing, you know. Yeah. So check that out. Um, also, you know, be sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms. We are at the Walt Vault Pod on Instagram. That's where the voting is going to happen, so go there. You can also follow us on Twitter at the Walt Vault Pod, or you can like us on Facebook at the Walt Vault Pod. 
And if you want to send us a friendly message or ask us a question, you can uh, head to our DMs on any of those social platforms, or you can email us at contact at the com, and we may read your message on the show. But you guys got to, like, send them, you know? I get lonely. It's my birthday. Please send me a message. Uh, <laughs> don't forget to go to patreon.com slash the Walt Vault to sign up to get more content. And also don't forget to subscribe because that's that's very important. If you subscribe on YouTube or iTunes or Stitcher or Google Play or any of those places, it, it really helps us out. And it helps you out because all the episodes are delivered directly to your face. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> to your face, Michelle. Uh, okay. You said about sliding in the DMs yet. I missed that. I, I did. I did. You did you say can, that. You can oh, slide did into you say our, slide? By the way, I didn't say this slide. outro that we gave every week is Andre wrote it. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I did. I wrote it down and now I'm I'm going off book. You want to know what's funny about this is that we all just sit here and stare at him while he does it. <laughs> so you can imagine. Because we try not to laugh. It's a lot of of pressure, honestly. Do you um, feel the pressure? My eyes are boring into yeah, your soul. Do, 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 do. Why are your toes do, do, on my do, table? Do, 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 do. Michelle got toes on the table. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> go to iTunes and leave us a review, please. Uh, that really helps uh, other people to find the show. Uh, so leave us a review or even just a star rating. Five stars is my favorite amount of stars. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe, which I think I already told you guys to do. So I'll settle for three. Wow. I w- Don't listen to I him. I refuse to settle for three. Ah, Off with his head. You, Off with his head. Off with his head. Five stars only. You guys, that has been it for this week. We'll see you next time. <laughs>